Bonjour, hello, my name is Amber Marlowe. I'm the Extension Director for Le Couture Ojibwe Community College, and we are at the Sustainable Agriculture Research Station talking about our SAIR project for the Beginner Farmer Rancher Program. Our project was looking at the five, or looking at five Ojibwe reservations in Northwest Wisconsin that the college serves. And the, the challenge is that they're all at a different um, capacity. So some have no agricultural starting, um, you know, they don't have any gardens or farm. And then some have a very um, a strong um, agricultural focus and they have a garden that they've had for over 20 years. So our goal was to really look at uh, what grew better on each of those um, reservations. So we did a research plot and that plot was 30 by 30 feet and it was designed with um, native indigenous plants. It was designed with a uh, three sisters garden, corns, beans, and squash. And it also had other things that the community would be interested in, potatoes, uh, tomatoes, cucumbers, things like that. So we really wanted to look at, you know, did the, Red Cliff, did they grow a lot of corn? Or did St. Croix just grow a bumper crop of beans? And really look at, you know, is there something, you know, back in the day we facilitated and exchanged goods um, with each other. And we wanted to look at how we could recreate that model. And so Le Couture would be a food hub and we would take in the products, take in the veggies from the different uh, tribes and then create some value added product around that. So the research that we were looking at was taking that plot and seeing what, what would grow best. And to help us with that, um, we were able to provide all of the tribes with um, a couple of rain barrels, irrigation supplies, seeds, um, hand washing stations, so things that helps them with their post-harvest handling. We also helped them with um, garden carts to carry their produce, um, with things, um, basic needs from gloves and uh, knee pads to just basic um, garden tools. So everyone had the supplies that they needed. Uh, we tilled plots for them. We didn't do any soil amending, so it was just what their soil was like um, to look at what that ba um, base research would show us. Uh, I think the biggest thing that came out of the project though was just the partnership building, was that we really connected with those communities. Um, we reached out and had interns. We hired interns to, to help facilitate the, the program and the growing and just talk about sustainable agriculture. We also offered um, educational workshops in the communities. So canning, um, basic gardening demonstrations, composting. So really looked at each community, what their needs were, and then offered those specific programs. So one of the main focus areas of why we wanted to do this project was to look at um, historically Ojibwe tribal people, anybody was able to sustain themselves and grow their own food. And we were truly looking at that key for what food sovereignty meant, especially to tribal people, and that it's been said that a tribe is not sovereign unless they can feed themselves. And so our goal was really to empower these individual communities that they can um, you know, start their journey of being able to sustain their community members and, and helping them out and incre increasing capacity and just creating those partnerships was really the key and foundation to this project.